The Franklin series is one of my faves, and it's just because of the value inside. I mean, silver dollars ended in 1935, and silver was pulled across the board in 64, Kennedy's in 71, when the clad started. So we had some mixture in the middle. So the largest coin that was out there was the half dollar, and the largest time frame in the middle was the Franklin series, 16 years. Well, tonight, I have the last three, but tonight, look at the price, and yes, they're certified fours. Certified fours, blast white. Shall we do some math quickly, everybody? 89.85 divided by three means we are under $30 a coin tonight. And these are 64s, certified. NGC has been grading coins for us in the industry for over 35 years. The only way they stay in business is by taking our coins and putting them in a holder like this and then getting paid to do so, right? And we're happy to do so, especially when we find the good stuff. These in the Franklin series are the great stuff. Now these are all Philadelphia Strucks, P-Mint, so below the E and the S in states right there, there is no mint mark because Philadelphia didn't have to mark their coins. It was a given. No mark, it was the main mint. The rest of them marked their coins so you know where they came from. So here's the numbers on these, and it's just outright silly, which is why I love this later group. Because everybody thinks because of the high mintage figures, because the Red Book and other guidebooks tell you the mintage figures, that, oh, yeah, I'm going to look for rarer ones. Uh, time out. Read the rest of the book. Chapter 2, NGC's published population guide will tell you a whole different story about the same coin. You ready? They made 8.2 million 1961s. After 35 years, there are only 6,625 known this night, 64 and higher. Combined. They made 9.7 million Philadelphias in 1962. There are only 5,012. Yes, 5,012. That's it. In 64 or higher. In the 1963, they made 22.1 million. The crescendo, the end of the era for the Franklin half dollar. And there's 16,413 of those. Anybody want to know how many Silver Eagles were certified last year by NGC? Just the one Silver Eagle that sells for the same price you're getting all three of these Franklins for? A couple hundred thousand and then some. You add all these up, you're barely over 30,000. You're actually under 30,000. The competition sells the Franklin half dollar, these beautiful uncirculated coins, in capsules. Five grades less at $68.50, $75.50, and $65.50. You add all those up, and they're over $200 for coins and capsules. One of my other competitors recently started working with us, i.e. talking about 64 graded Franklins. And their price for these three coins is $49.95 each. Your choice. That means the same three coins are $20 more, $60 more for the set, and they're $149.85. Save $60 here this evening, everybody. $60 here this evening. It is a fun, fun fun set to own. Rarity matters. If we have learned a couple of things in the last decade, what are they? The lower the mintage figure, the better, right? Fewer coins have an instant rarity factor, and whenever the U.S. Mint brings out something new, boom, they're gone, are they not? Quality matters. But again, these were made before NGC was around. They were made before silver went to $50 an ounce in 1980. So finding quality coins, surviving that look this nice, not like you can just open up your sock drawer and say, okay, give me a roll. We wish we could. But when you look at a silver eagle, and we love the coins, we sell as many silver eagles as we do Franklin's here, 
you look at the rarity of the Franklin series, it's not even a competition. It's like me doing a 100 yard dash with Hussein Bolt. I'll get 20 yards and he'll be finished. These coins are the finish. These are the special coins. Guys, we gotta put a 30 second clock up. We are down to a single digit of number of three coin sets left. 905, 6602 it is. So again, 61, two and three, the last of the Franklins. All Philadelphia Mint, which is significant because the Denver Mint had higher populations and higher mintage figures. So get the rarer coins, right? Always the way we want to go. Not 149.85 for the same three coins. Not over 200 for coins and capsules. We are under $30 a coin in this beautiful three-coin trio tonight. $89.85. It's not meant to be rocket science. Sometimes it's just that good and it's still affordable a half a century later. Thanks for listening.